Welcome back to the channel. Now, a few of you have been asking what I use to do speed runs here on the channel. Uh, what GPS device do I use? How do I set it up? Uh, and, you know, is, is there any issues that I face when I go out doing my speed runs? Now, we're going to cover all of those things in today's video. Now, I primarily use the SkyRC GSM 020. Uh, just like a lot of our other RC YouTubers out there, we all pretty much use the same device. It's very, very reliable. It's packed full of features and we're gonna take a closer look at that now. The GSM 020 really does come packed with lots of nice features. You've got three different modes on this. You've got a drag mode, a track mode, and a flying mode. We'll talk a little bit more about the modes later on, but we have to cover some of the other features that this has as well. Now it's got a 200 milliamp hour LiPo battery, and that's good for about five hours. But the one thing I would say is just keep an eye on your battery level, because this does sort of stay on like a standby mode. Um, it's sort of always on so that when you go into the app, it will automatically connect. So you must keep an eye on your battery level because you may go to use it and your battery will be very low. The app that you need for the GSM 020 is completely free of charge and that is available on the iOS and the Android App Store. This tiny device has enough memory to hold 50 records so when you go out and do 50 speed runs everything will be stored and it will be accessible on the app. It also supports both metric and imperial systems of measurements and the small size makes it ideal for mounting on RC cars. There are so many things you can track with this little device, including your distance, your average speed, your max speed, and it even has a flight mode if you're an RC pilot and you wanna fit this to an RC plane. It will give you your max altitude, and again, it will tell you how fast you're going. This thing is packed full of features, and it really is worth every penny. So what I'll do is I'll run you through the process of installing the app. We'll then open the app up and go from there. To get the app, all you have to do is go on your app store, search for SkyRC, and you want to look for GNSSPA. And as you can see, I have already got it installed. But if you haven't, go ahead, download and install that now, and then we will cover the pairing process. There's one thing you need to know, you don't have to pair this in your Bluetooth settings on your phone. All you have to do is go into the app and as long as this is close by, it will pick it up. You click on the device and then you are good to go. So all you have to do is go into the app and it will come up with a message saying GNSS PA is asking to turn on Bluetooth. All you have to do is click allow. It will say turning on Bluetooth. Give it a moment while things connect up. Now, I've used this before, obviously, but if this is the first time you're connecting uh, to your phone, you will have to pick uh, the device off a list, and it's gonna be the only one listed there. Now, at this point, you may be wondering, what do all these lights mean? Well, the white light, the first one, is your power light. The second one, the green one, uh, is your GPS uh, reception light, and that indicates that we have got a GPS fix. And then finally, the blue one uh, is telling you that you're connected via Bluetooth. Now, on the very top there, you've got your status bar. That is telling you that we've got a good reception on our Bluetooth. We've got 11 satellites and our battery is sitting on 99%. Once in the app, we've got various different options that we can use. Now we've got a drag mode, which I don't tend to use. Uh, the mode that I use all the time for speed runs is the track mode. And what that does is that is gonna track your distance, uh, your max speed, your average speed, and how long you're out there running. You've also got a flying mode, which is gonna come in handy for any RC pilots out there who are looking to find out how high they've flown or how fast they've been flying. Really, really good options available in this app. Now, earlier on, you may remember me saying that this has a memory of up to 50 records, and the way you access your previous records is in the settings menu. All you do is click on records, and as you can see, all of your previous speed runs that you've done will be saved on that list. This is also where you can switch from miles per hour to kilometers per hour. That is pretty much it when it comes to the app. We're gonna talk about mounting next because that is quite important. When it comes to mounting, you've got various different options with this. Now, the one thing you should know is you can mount this under your body shell. As long as you've got no metal uh, covering the top of it, you're gonna be good to go and you'll still be able to get a satellite signal. Now this means you've got two different options, you can either mount this somewhere inside on the chassis or you can mount it outside on the body shell. 
I use Velcro or double sided tape when I mount this to RC cars. Once you're all set up and ready to go, it really is a simple case of heading out, finding a suitable location to mount the GSM020 device. Once that's done, you open up the app, you wait for the Bluetooth to connect, you wait until you've got a good solid satellite signal, and then it really is a simple case of clicking start if you're in track mode, sending the model out, uh, doing a few passes, bringing it back in, and you have to be within sort of 10 meters for the app to uh, connect back up. Once that is done, you'll be able to click uh, read, and it will give you a readout of how fast you went, uh, how far you traveled, your average speed, all those different things that we talked about earlier, and it really is as simple as that. The GSM020 isn't the only speed meter that SkyRC actually have. Uh, they've also got the GSM015, which is a little bit bigger as you can see, but this does have its advantages. Now, one of the good things about this is the fact that it's a standalone unit. You don't have to use an app and you will get a readout of your top speed on the device itself. I've already done a video on this and so many people have done videos on this so do a YouTube search if you're interested in seeing more on the GSM 015 but I think the 020 is the best option because of its small size. Especially if you're considering mounting this on the outside of your car you don't want to affect aero too much and the fact that this is a lot smaller than that is really going to make a difference. So there we go then guys, we're going to leave the video there today. I really hope you enjoyed seeing how I do my speed runs here on the channel. And if you have any questions about any of the stuff you've seen today, feel free to drop a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But apart from that, we're going to leave it there. Happy speed running guys and I'll see you again soon on the next one. Take care. Yeah.